Hello to all of you. This is Dr. Tawal Mehta and today we are going to discuss about repeated measures analysis of variance in R. We have already discussed about dependent sample t-test where the observation is taken at two time interval that is before and after. Here when the observation is taken at more than two time intervals that is t1, t2 and t3 it is repeated measures ANOVA. It is an extension of dependent sample t-test. Now let us understand how we are carrying out this analysis repeated measures ANOVA in R. So for this purpose we will be taking an example. The doctor has taken the pulse of 18 patients at regular intervals which are measured as pulse 1, pulse 2 and pulse 3. The variable diet denotes dietary preference subject. So the subject is a dietary preference this one with the values on D1 signifying non-vegetarians and D2 signifying vegetarians. In case of exercise, S1 signifies yoga, S2 signifies cycling and S3 signifies playing tennis. Now I want to see the effect of exercise on pulse rate. So for this, you can see this data frame and you can very well generate this data frame in your R. So I'll run this command and I'll generate the data frame. So exercise is there, pulse 1, pulse 2, pulse 3 and subject is there. You can see the data frame from here. Now I want to carry out the repeated measures ANOVA. So for this the command line is AOV.1. This is just a name. You don't need to worry about this why it is written in this form. It is just a name. But when I am writing on right hand side, how will I write? AOV is equal to pulse 1, dependent variable, tilde, exercise. We are including the effect that is the independent variable on dependent variable plus error into bracket subject. This is a subject slash exercise data is equal to pulse. Now why we are writing this thing in this particular format let us understand. Here the crucial difference is in the specification of the error term. This term specifies the replication in the experiment design. In this case, we are informing AOV that the response corresponding to every level of exercise, see, every level of exercise is measured for each subject. Can you see this? So the specification of the error term could be confusing at first sight. Okay, so that's the only thing uh, with the difference is there. Now let us run this analysis. So. EOV, I'll run this, run and I'll get the p-value. So this is the p-value for effect of exercise on pulse 1 and here as the p-value is more than 0 0.05, we conclude that this exercise is not significantly contributing in the on the pulse on first time period. Okay. Then we carry out the analysis for the second time period, pulse 2. So here you can see the exercise is not contributing or not significantly uh, uh, say different. It means that the exercise by doing the exercise pulse rates are not significantly different in second time period as the p-value is more than 0 0.05. Let us see in the third time period. Here also you can see the p-value is more than 0 0.05 and therefore we fail to reject null which means that the exercise is not affecting the pulse rate at time period 1, 2 and 3. All these codes are available in my book which is available, which is available on data analysis using R on Amazon.in and Amazon.com. You can subscribe to my channel, you can follow me on LinkedIn and, LinkedIn and Twitter. Thank you.